Hello everyone! Today I am showing you my Doomchar house. It was the free one they gave us and um, I'm really excited. I love what I did with it. So real quick, uh, the Doomchar Plateau was a house you could get for free by doing the events. Not the one right now. This is um, April 2022. It was the events before this. And you went and got tickets, you got one of the little pets, which I think was like a flying rock. And then you went and got the pieces for the house and you could turn the pet into a house. So this is the free house. And my theory was, because I thought it was really cool at first with all the lava and the fire. I was going to make it like Deadlands, you know. But then the idea came to me of the old movie called Legend. And if you guys don't know what it is, please look it up because it um, this is what I made my house from. It's from 1985 and it has Tom Cruise in it and it's about a young man who has to stop the Lord of Darkness from destroying daylight and marrying the woman that he loves which he stole. So on that note the theory of this house as we explore is Molag Ball stole a woman. He kidnapped her. He tucked her away in this little realm of his that he made she's like a prisoner here and um yeah so I didn't add much out to here to this part when you come in this is already here it's the entrance and exit which I think is really cool the eye kind of like Lord of the Rings I put up those two you know banner things these trees and everything came with the house the lights came with the house I put the target out here just to kind of be like a guard you know and uh, that rock thing back there was not there. I put it there to kind of like, the theory is if someone came into this area, they wouldn't see uh, the place behind the rock. It kind of just maybe like hide her even more from whoever might visit, even though they never have any visitors. So behind the rock is the bridge that goes over to the secret garden. This is it. I surrounded an area with hedges and made it all enclosed and then I just started building a garden. I've always wanted to do a, a big garden. I was going to with the um, that sugar meadow, that moon sugar meadow, but I ended up doing something totally different with that. I'll have to show you guys. It's really cool. I love this place because all these ads and stuff go around the outside. It's just really active. Um, I just made a, another video with glitches and that big ad over there, that big snake looking one, it went right through the garden, which I don't think it's ever supposed to do because I've never seen it do that. It was so cool. Okay, so here we go. So these um, stones out front are kind of like part of his enchantment to keep everything you know, like sealed in, to keep her inside. Here, when we step in, is like the main garden entrance. There's a path I made going to the left and to the right. This was just a big, empty, charred looking field with no life to it. And I wanted to make a magical place so someone could just, you know, have to live here and just feel alive and surrounded by beautiful live things. Um, we're going to wait and do the paths last, I guess. Um, the path goes straight ahead too, but the cool thing is I built a tree house up there and you get to it right here. I love these Argonian, in case you guys have never seen them, these Argonian lattices you can stand on them and they're perfect to build on and walk on because they kind of show everything underneath it they don't block the scenery with something like really like you know tacky looking i just love them so we're going up to the tree house i put the arsenium i used a wooden platform and just put the arsenium 
uh, gazebo in here just because I thought it just gave it some like house structure. I could have left it out and just left the platform, but I liked it. I was using some Telvani stuff and the wedding flowers, of course, because she was forced to marry Molag Ball, or he wants to. I don't think he's done it yet. I got my frog collar. I love that. <laughs> and the throne, some flowers. Nothing special. I. I spent most of my category slots on the garden stuff. As you can see, I'm at 692 out of 700 furnishings. So I'm kind of like right on the brink of running out of space. I left a few more spaces because I haven't really filled this house part in all the way with furniture and stuff. If, you know, if I find more, I'll stick it in here. This is a little path that just goes up to really nowhere. It's just kind of like a viewing area. I like this to come up high places like this and just look around it's a good way just to see she can see what's going on around in this little world she has to live in you know and you can see below also what I think is really cool is this right here is a huge griffin's nest um, let me show you see this whole thing this huge griffin's nest is something they sell. They just added to the undaunted area for the veteran dungeons. Like if you complete one of the new dungeons, you can buy this griffin's nest. I didn't know it was so big because it looks small and it was only like 2,000 gold. But look, you can even walk around in it with the little griffin babies. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oops, I fell. Okay, so we're back at the griffin's nest. We're going back in this part. I made a little door here. It goes up to her actual bedroom area. Now, when I build these railings, I like just to put a little side thing, even though it's not the prettiest. It keeps people from falling off, you know, when you're walking. See, I'm on the very edge and I can't fall off. Here, I didn't put any kind of railing, but you don't need it because the way I curved them really easy to run up these little stones to the top floor of the house like I said so this is her living space we have uh, the bath area and the little seat seating area and her dining table I put the picture of the griffin's nest see it's a uh, yeah griffin's nest I thought it would be appropriate since she has little griffins living with her and the window and her bed and of course lots of books because what else is you going to do right <laughs> so back down and close the door don't let mosquitoes in <laughs> So this is basically the tree house. I wanted to have like a tree house, but I didn't want to just do all like housey housey, tons of tree housey stuff. Cause I'm not really much of an actual house furnishing person. I love the outdoor stuff the best. So let's do the paths now. Which one do you guys want to do? Right or left? We'll go left. So it's really hard getting all these little bushes to fill in the space. There's tons of little shrubberies everywhere uh, just to make it look full. This is the little wedding area where he wants to get married. I try to cover up some of the building stuff right there behind those vines is the lattice. I stopped the path here because I don't want it all, I don't like a totally 
done garden. I like just to wander the woods on your own, you know, and have just more like nature. So I stopped that path up there and just have like pure woods down here. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning and show you guys the other path. So here's the right side. with the wedding lanterns. I made it not as colorful, just more like reds and yellows, a little more subdued because at the end here of the path, I have that beautiful green goddess tree with all the colors. And I just wanted the, the eye to kind of go to her, you know? There she is. I made a platform here. Oh, this prayer wheel is really cool. I don't, again, have a ton of furniture out here because I didn't have a lot um, made. I just used the things I had in my inventory. Believe it or not, I had like all this garden stuff in my inventory, almost all of it. I only went and bought a few things, a few trees I needed, like some jumbo trees. Um, got a gong. Boom. It's a little fire area. You know, I'm probably going to find some more furniture to put over here, but it looks okay for now. And then the steps going down into, again, this is the back side where we ended up the last time, but we ended up over there towards that like statue area over there. So let's, um, Again, I kept this area just empty of paths and stuff. So we're going back to the beginning. So that was the right side. And then straight, just goes straight down through these, um, I love these Reachmen, yeah, Reachmen pergolas. I love them, they're so pretty. And then straight down here to the back side of the garden. We were just right there. There's the steps. That was the other side right here where I just put like a little shrine thing. And then the back gate, which of course he keeps these, you know, it doesn't matter if he locks them or not. He can lock her in the garden, but uh, she can't get out of this little lava world anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is where he ports in at up here when he wants to visit her. This is like another little magical thing that ports him in. So she doesn't come back here ever. She likes to pretend that doesn't exist. And there is my legend house, my garden house. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I love making houses and I hope you guys play around with them too. They're really fun.